welcome to the Naval Group site in Indred. The manufacturing plant has been specializing in the production of propulsion system for naval application for over 200 years. The French shipbuilder is giving us an exclusive insight into its manufacturing process and technologies. Follow me as we take a deep dive into naval propulsion systems with Naval Group. Let's check it out. Naval Group in Andret has been working on AIP or Air Independent Propulsion Systems for over 30 years now. To learn more about this technology, we are now with Marc Kemener, CTO, Chief Technical Officer for AIP Systems at Naval Group. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Can you please first tell us what is an AIP system? The need of AIP system in a conventional submarine is to increase uh, the, the capacity to, to charge the battery when you are in uh, diving conditions. Uh, you have to, to know that uh, uh, without uh, AIP system, conventional submarine have, has to come back every three days on surface to, to charge the battery, so at this time is is detectable and vulnerable. In fact. So uh, our AIP system, which is the latest uh, generation fuel cell AIP based on uh, diesel oil reforming, allowed to increase the submerged endurance without charging the batteries every three days. Uh, it means that um, now we are able to to stay in uh, about three weeks. To deep dive into Naval Group's latest AIP system, we are now joined by Damien Lelandé, the systems architect. Can you please give us some detail about your latest AIP system? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, you have here a reduced scale model of the AIP section fitted with FC2G. Uh, you can notice there are two main modules in this section. On one side, the oxygen module, and on the other side, the energy module. In the oxygen module, we'll find an oxygen storage tank which, is, which works in cryogenic conditions. It delivers pure, pure oxygen, gaseous oxygen, to the energy module for power production but also to the submarine atmosphere to keep the atmosphere breathable for the crew. And actually it's essential because in conventional submarines the, the atmosphere is, is not able to keep breathable for long durations uh, and the oxygen module provides oxygen to keep this, this atmosphere breathable for weeks instead of for, or a few days. On the other side, so the, the energy module in which the, uh, the electricity is produced with fuel cells. These fuel cells work with hydrogen and the hydrogen is pro produced on board directly with our diesel oil reforming process. Damien, what are some of the key benefits of your technical solution? Many, of course. Uh, the first one actually is safety. Uh, we have chosen to design our FC2G AIP so as to have the, the best safety performance balance. And actually, diesel oil is the best choice to do so. Uh, energetically speaking, actually, the diesel oil contains more energy than any other on the fuel on the, on the market. And for safety reasons, actually, uh, diesel oil is a fuel which is easily available uh, worldwide and which is well known by submariners. In case of leak inside a submarine, the uh, diesel oil is the only fuel which is safe compared to other fuels which are too light and can, and can uh, make an atmosphere explosible due to the leak. Uh, in our solution, hydrogen is not stored, so that means that when the uh, system is off, there is no hydrogen storage. And uh, the uh, diesel fuel actually is very easy and safe to store inside the submarine, but also on ports because there is no immediate danger in case of leak. Damien, uh, your fuel cell technology today is ready, but can you further improve it? Yes, sure, we can improve our technology actually, because uh, we are still ongoing developments to our solution so as to improve performances such as power or energy density, so as to offer even better performance to the submarines equipped with FC2G. Uh, last but not least, uh, there are today only two known submarines fitted with uh, lithium-ion batteries. They are in Japan, however, they are not fitted with AIP systems. Is your system compatible with uh, lithium-ion technology? Uh, actually, it is compatible and these technologies are even complementary. Uh, if your submarine is equipped, is fitted with lithium batteries and the uh, AIP, uh, FC2G AIP, actually you, you can have the best operational capacities 
because of the wide range of use of the lithium ion batteries and the unmatched, unmatched energy density of the AIP, which can make the, uh, the submarine able to stay underwater for several weeks. Here you can have the four main steps of the process, which are represented by the four main components. The first one is the diesel oil reformer. In this chemical reactor, we combine diesel oil with oxygen and steam so as to produce a synthetic gas which contains a high quantity of hydrogen. Then at the outlet, we, we, the, the, uh, the gas, the syn gas, is, is drived to the second step which is the water gas shift reactor. In this chemical reactor, the uh, hydrogen, more hydrogen is produced thanks to the water gas shift reaction which also eliminates carbon monoxide coming from the, uh, the reformer. At the outlet, at this stage, the concentration of hydrogen is maximum, but it's still into the gas mixture. So this is the, the job of the third step, the membrane, is to split this gas mixture into two gas. The uh, pure hydrogen at the, at the one side and the exhaust gas at the other side. This is done by, uh, the, uh, by, single, by uh, special alloys which, which extract hydrogen from the gas mixture and delivers this ultra-pure ultra -pure hydrogen with a purity even better than industrial standards to the fuel cells. The final step, the fuel cells, which is a conventional proton exchange membrane technology fuel cells, an industrial technology in which hydrogen is combined with air. And the particularity of our fuel cells is a patented innovation in which we inject pure oxygen coming from our oxygen storage to an air recirculation loop. We can use this industrial technology air proton exchange membrane fuel cells. How long have you been experimenting a uh, full-scale demonstrator here at Indret? We have started uh, testing our system since uh, 2012, in fact, uh, onshore system at full scale. Uh, what kind of performance have you achieved? We achieved, at this time, we have uh, performed more than uh, 7,000 uh, hours of production, of hydrogen production. And, and we have, uh, last, uh, last year, we made uh, uh, 18 days uh, of uh, running uh, we, we made a, a patrol in the, in the submarine conditions and uh, with a production of electricity during 18 days. It's significant because um, we uh, usually the customers uh, ask for 14 days and we wanted to go further than this uh, objective. Mark, you've been uh, experimenting uh, your land-based demonstrator of FC2 GAIP for a number of years now. What is the next step for Naval Group at Indret? Uh, what we can say now, uh, our system is, is okay, we are ready to sail. So it means that uh, at this time we, we offer this product to, uh, for customers, uh, so we, we, are, we are ready. Are you proposing your technology to potential customers such as the Netherlands and India? We propose uh, this system to uh, all our potential uh, customers.